We also need a drop routine. Oh, then we can like place the item in any room we want. That's cool. Okay, so we'll need a drop routine. Probably along the same kind of parameters. So that's line 2499. Don't really need that one. Let's copy most of this over. We just don't need the maximum size. So else if verb is drop, handle drop command, we'll pass this stuff in, except for the max items. You don't have that. Okay, let's say, gonna use this logic again. Actually, I could kind of put that in its own function. Let's say, um, get, oops, item index string noun. So then now we just say get item index with the noun. Now we don't have to re-implement it again. Yay! Do not repeat yourself. Okay, um, if zero or is not negative one, I guess. If this or you don't have it, then see out you don't have that. Otherwise, then the object in room for the handle object is going to be the current room. We are going to subtract from items in inventory and we'll say dropped. Number of objects, oops, well, and the object names. So I've been putting the const ints ahead of time and like the arrays ahead of time. So we need to make sure to pass in the object names, I guess the object tags as well. Um, number of objects. Const string object tags. And really these don't need to change at all, so we'll make those const. I know I, I'm like really bad about um, being consistent with that. Well, that's kind of something you could add afterwards. Okay, so we have a drop. We dropped the stuff. And an inventory routine. Yay, inventories! That's gonna be line 2699. What are we gonna need? You need a list of what you're carrying. So that will be the object information. I don't know if you need your object. Do you even need your nouns for that or just looking at your inventory? Handle inventory command, send our data. Are we just outputting the stuff? I think we're just outputting the stuff. You are carrying zero, i is less than number of objects, i plus plus. Will carrying anything is false. Uh, if object in room i is equal to negative one, then you're carrying it. Down here, if not carrying anything, we will say um, nothing. You're carrying nothing. Otherwise, in here we will put a end line and a thing and a object names I. 
puts AC out into line at the end. So I think that's really all we need for that. We can say inventory. You're carrying nothing! Quit. Look at all these features! Verbs, verbs, and more verbs! Yay! Are you excited? <laughs> what else we got? Oh, we gotta examine and look. We gotta look at things. See, all this stuff is hard-coded, right? So then there's not really a reason to not hard-code the data. <laughs> but, uh, again, here, let's make these const. These don't need to change. Uh, the examine. Let's do that. Line 2799. Void handle exam, I guess, look command. We're going to be looking at objects. Uh, I assume we'll need the verb and noun. We'll probably need our current room and the room objects. So we'll need this stuff. Um, we'll need our int current room, which I think that should be const, but we'll mess with that later. Uh, else if verb is look, or verb is examine, or verb is loo, or verb is exa, then we are going to handle uh, look command. We also need the verb and the noun. Well, we don't really need the verb so much as we just need the noun. But we'll do const string verb, const string noun, object names, object tags, object in room, number of objects, current room, verb, and a noun. Alrighty, what do we have? The look routine. Um, if the noun is empty, then what are we doing? Then 2940, then rim. I don't know what that means. <laughs> if. Oh, we have look and examine. Okay, if verb is look. Or verb is loo. Else, if verb is examine or verb is exa. Um. If the noun is the ground, actually, um, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm just thinking of ways to refactor things ahead of time. If it's the ground and um, the current room is not room number six, then say it looks like the gr like ground. It looks like ground. Otherwise, well, okay, we're just gonna nest this for simplicity's sake for now. If current room is six, otherwise... It looks like something's buried here. Okay. Otherwise, if we got 
trying to examine something, room object is not. Let's see. If object. Okay. I guess, I don't know. That's like a special case. If object in room. We need to get whatever the thing we're looking at is. This thingy. Boop. Is, is ground a thing? No, that's like a special case. Okay. If object in room that we're trying to do is not in the current room, then say see out. It's not here. Okay, we also have like a special bottle thing. Examine bottle. Uh, this is gonna be item number seven. I might add an extra thingy, Ugh, but then I have to adjust the array size, and I have to like put it in the ether, I guess, in position zero. Blob, I don't know. Okay, we're we're just moving forward. Um, if the object is the bottle, we should also check to see if it's. in our inventory or look nearby. Okay, if it's not in the current room, it's not here. I just don't like the logic of this. I want to make this cleaner. So let's do if object in room is handle object is in current room or object in room, handle object, is at negative one. That means um, object is either in the room or in our inventory. So then we can add some if statements in here. So these things are accessible, otherwise if it's not in the current room, it's not here. We'll just put else. Okay, if it's a bottle, then we'll output, there's something written on it. Do I, do you have to like look bottle to actually read it? <laughs> Else if handle object is Cass. Glass case. Then we output, there's a jewel inside. Else if handle object is bar, barrel, object six, see out, it's filled with rainwater. Otherwise, I suppose we say you see nothing unusual. matters then if I do verb or look, look or examine, I think. Because it's just jumping around anyway. Okay, so we got that. Okay. 
let's add some extra code. If you said quit and then asked if you want to play again, it would like reset the game? Oh, there's a read verb. Okay, there's a cool, cool read verb. We're not gonna we're not gonna reset the game if they accidentally type quit and then hit no. Um, unless it just means do you wanna continue playing? But that would be a weird way to do that. Uh, okay, we're gonna do else if verb is read. Then we're gonna have a read command. I guess we probably just need all the same stuff here. If I was making this object oriented, then I wouldn't have to pass so many parameters and arguments. You know, arguments are when you're calling the function. You wouldn't have to pass so many arguments around. If this was object oriented, it could be part of inside of the game class or something, but we're just, you know, making it kind of as close as possible with the C++ and the basic and all that. Um, yes. So, we got a verb if it's not dia, then 3560. What is a dia? A diary. Okay, if object is not in the current room and it's negative one, there's no diary. Okay, we'll just say, how did we phrase it here? We'll do this part. And if it is in the room or in the inventory, we'll do one thing. Otherwise, we'll say it's not around because we can't can't read it if it's not here. Let's see, or I guess we could say you can't read that. Okay, if it's nearby, if. If the handle object is the diary, then we say it says add sodium chloride plus the um, formula to rainwater to reach the other world. Okay. Else if handle object is four for dictionary, five. Oops. So this is the diary dictionary. Um, it says sodium chloride is common table salt. Add salt to rainwater to go to a magical world. Uh, okay. Else if handle object, not that, handle object is bot, bottle, bottle. Number seven. It reads Secret Formula. Okay, is that all of the all of the things? I'm missing something somewhere. Where am I missing a thing? Oops. If we want to ope the box, that means we're from the Midwest, which is true. That, that is true for me. Uh, okay, how many more verbs do we got?